Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kemzit and we're gonna continue on the campaign with Jodwiga Mission 6 The Fruits of Her Labor um, Do bear in mind that we're still also live from within our Discord server so feel free to join us if you want to interact with us and see the footage before it's gonna be uploaded onto YouTube but without further ado let's get going June the 3rd, 1410. It has been years since I last entered this room. I always expect her to be lying there, with our daughter on her breast, in that bed now covered with dust. Smiling, glowing the way only they can who know in their bones that their days on earth are numbered. My Yadviga. Her heart was broken one time too many after our daughter died, only four days old. Jadwiga was sick with grief and with a fever that would not pass. But despite it all, she held true to her duty through that youthful twilight. She told me to marry again. To marry a granddaughter of the legendary Polish king Casimir the Great. This, she said, would strengthen my claim to Poland's throne once she was gone and prevent another civil war. I had broken her heart when I took her from Prince William. I had broken it again when the child I gave her died in her arms. To obey this desire was the least I could do. She died just two weeks after our daughter. Much has changed since then. Poland and Lithuania have grown stronger together. Now, the time has come for us to not only survive, but to conquer our old enemies. We are at war again with the Teutonic Order. But we no longer cower from their discipline and military prowess. We strive to match it. We march now on Marienburg, the Teutonic capital. Once the dust settles on the ruins of that fortress, the union of Poland and Lithuania, the wedding ring of Jadwiga, will stand stronger than ever before. Okay, that's truly sad to hear that Jodwiga has died and also the child, really. But, sadly, these things uh, happen. Anyway, uh, you will soon have to deal with the main Teutonic army to prevail. You must first increase the size of your army. You can do so by hiring mercenaries who will join you at the final battle and by taking Teutonic fortresses, which will free up, by, up the Polish soldiers besieging them. Sacking Prussia will also reduce the strength of its army in the final. You will most likely get, uh, you most likely not have time to complete all secondary objectives, but each one will increase your chance of victory in the final battle. Hints! Your Gaila begins in the Imperial Age and can support a population limit of 200. But cannot build a market or convert enemy buildings, your time before the Teutons forces, in you, uh, forces you into battle is limited. Spend it wisely. When, it do, when the time runs out, you will lose control of your starting assets and the action will swift the location of the final battle. Your priority decision will determine the strength of your forces and those of your opponent. Gold is scarce, spending it mostly on its storages early on is tempting, but buying mercenaries is a long-term investment. The Teutonic Fortress are intimidating targets, but taking them will ensure that the soldiers besieging them can join you for the final battle. If you need assistance, you can use the Taunt 32 to tell Vistotus to attack an enemy. Scouts. Your scouts report your Gaila 1 red and Vistotus 3 8 green have arrived in Prussia with a large vanguard. 
They must gather enough troops to defeat the Teutonic army in the battle before they make their way north. The vast armies of the Teutonic Order to Grey have been spotted on the west marching north to protect their capital of Marienburg. And seeking an opportunity to force a battle, some of their soldiers also guards the fortress of Soldau and Gillingberg. Currently besieged by the Polish army, the countryside is dominated by the towns Prussia 3 Yellow. The inhabitants will not attack you, but they will defend themselves should you attack them first. Spread around the countryside are several groups of mercenaries that, will, that have traveled to join you, but not without pay. Word has spread the Teutonic, uh, that the Knights of Lizard Union, 6 Orange, comprise part of the Teutonic Army. Will loyally to the Order, these Knights also have strong ties to Poland and only reluctantly fight against the Polish Crown. Lastly, the forest to the north appears to be impenetrable. Alright, let's go. We must secure these lands and hire as many mercenaries as possible before we face the Teutons. Attack an enemy now. Go. Rozkazania. Tak, drwal. Let us ravage these lands. I have been itching for a fight for months. Jestem sprawiaczką. Jestem sprawiaczką. Jestem sprawiaczką. Jestem sprawiaczką. Witaj na tych miastach wykona. Sprawiacz. Sprawiacz. Gotowa jest. Jestem sprawiaczką. Ah, God damn it! Get out. Um. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just also build this quicker. Move along. Attack an enemy now. No. Let's go! Come on. Gotów jest. Wal. Tak. Sprawiacz. Gotów jest. Witaj. Tak też uczyni. Sprawiacz. 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 Rozkazania. Wykona. Jestem sprawiaczką. Tak. Witajcie. Gotowa jest. Tak. Łowie zwierzyny. Jakieś rozkazania. Owszem. Oh fuck. Why? Do was atakujmy. Owszem. Do broni. Attack an enemy now. No. Tak, pojmuję. Witaj, Drwal. Jestem górniczką. Guys, please don't go after them for now. We need you on uh, the rear of here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Continue. Oh, hold on. Trample damage would be lovely. Uh, I don't care about these castle thingies. However, I do want to check out these guys. You already know the loyalty of my family. My father, Toktomish, fought many wars by Vitotus' side. For a modest price, my men and I will attack the enemy spirits. now. Let's wait here for reinforcements to come around a little bit more forward. Uh, here. Damn it. Rozkazania. A terrible tragedy has struck our homeland, Your Highness. Oh, the tragedy is peace. We are entirely out of work. 
but I would be happy to offer a discount if you would care to hire us. Hmm. Attack an enemy now. Tak, gotów jestem. Na tak też uczynię zwierzynę. Wal. Sprawiacz, 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 sprawiacz. Tak, drwal. Sprawiacz. Gotów je natychmiast wykonać. Sprawiacz. Attack an enemy now. You know, it's time for me to bash through those defenses here. Go! Charge! My men and I have come from Bohemia to fight for you, your highness, should you desire our services. Mm. We will be yours to command for the uh, Rozkazania? Łowie zwierzynę. Tak. Łowie zwierzynę. Gotów tak jest. Bo nie sprawia. Witajcie. Tak, tak też uczynię. Łowie zwierzynę. Attack an enemy now. Nice. Don't sending my men forward this way because we really need to. Now that we have already also besieged half of the lands away, we'll be fine to continue on. Let's go. Send forward our men again. Oh, fall back, don't go in. If we can destroy these castles, we'll be fine. No, stay here. 
Attack an enemy now. Go. Bless these guys. Come on. Fire. Lads, no. We do have a lot of time still, though. Look at that. With the destruction of these places, we will have greatness. Now, come on, boys. Hurry up. Can I get these goals here as well? Attack an enemy now. This castle is ours. Its Polish besiegers will join us in battle against the Teutonic Order when the time comes. I can see the banners of the Lizard Union among the enemy ranks. These knights have always had connections to Poland. If we can reach their leader, we may be able to convince him to stand his forces down. I need to destroy these guys as well. But I'm gonna quickly try to scout around over here to see where the weakness of this fortress is, because I need to find and besiege down that little castle thingy. Yeah, what I need to do is destroy those guys here. Oh, fuck. Not good. Destroy them all. Against 
This castle is ours. Its Polish besiegers will join us in battle against the Teutonic Order when the time comes. Quickly. We have one minute left. We can do this. There should be enough gold here. Nice. Oh, what? No. Go to that's not enough gold. I think that's because I've spent it. Whatever. Oh well. Why have you guys... Ah, shit. Russia is under our control. Let us march on the Teutonic capital. Yokaila. My scouts inform me that the Teutons have camped near the village of Grunberg, right on the road to Marienburg. So, they want to force a battle before we reach their capital. Very well. Our ranks are filled and morale is high. We will meet the order in the field. Mm. Okay. The pagan king has decided to face us at last. I was starting to think that you had fled back to Poland. Form ranks, men! I shall take the right flank with my Lithuanian forces. I have a plan that I want to try out. My lord. Two riders are approaching from the Teutonic camp. Our Grandmaster sends these two swords to you, King Yogaila. He says that they will prove useful, if you ever muster the courage to face him in the field. Tell your master that he has waited long enough. I will return these swords to him, lodged in two of his commanders. The time has come! Charge, men! For God and Poland! Well, let's go then. I'm gonna crush these men over here. If I can destroy them, we'll be fine. What I'll do is send these guys first. Forward! The Teutons are sending another wave towards us! Pull back, men! Let us fail a retreat to lure the Teutons out of formation! And then turn and charge them when they are vulnerable! The Lithuanians are fleeing the battle! Run them down! Return to the battlefield and charge once more into the Crusader lines! Let's 
Oh god. The battle is intense. No one survived. Who is retreating? Bullshit. They were never able to take the fortress of Marienburg. But in the end, it did not matter. The Teutons were crushed. Their masters lay slain on the fields of Grunwald, and the Order would never truly recover. We held a wild celebration. Vitotus was more drunk with pride, joy, and wine than anyone else after that Tatar maneuver that helped win the battle. After a few hours, I could no longer stand the heat of that great tent. The shouting and the music and the laughter of so many victorious men. I slipped out into the darkness, down to a small stream near our camp. I sat there in silence, giving thanks to God for our victory, and listening to the murmur of the stream and the cold evening wind. I could not help but think of her then, my Jadwiga, who made all this possible. I lost you too soon, and Poland lost its brightest star. But now, at last, I know that your dream will live on, where you could not. Oh, I could hear a bell tolling then. A friar, somewhere in the distance, hailing the arrival of the night with that deep, resounding music. It has been a long time since I noticed such things. The little things of beauty that season our days of war and toil and make them almost palatable. Well, that was quite saddening to see. Um, I was really tempted to also win each of the achievements. Sadly, I couldn't. Nearly every second there objectives was completed, if only I had a little bit more gold, but it was not really possible. Anyway, this was it for now guys, this means we have also finished this entire campaign. Truly sad to see that Jadwiga died because she was a great woman. But anyway, this is it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something? Record a game together that's possible as well. Just write down comments box below or join my Discord server so we can have a chat chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video where we shall continue with the Dawn of the Duke's campaign, but this time with Jan Ziska.